Hello! Welcome back to story time! I know how much all of you have been loving the books that have farm animals in them. So I picked another book that has lots of farm animals in it. But this one also has a kangaroo. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Today we are reading this story called What If? Ready to find out what happens? <gasps> what if? Something special was happening on Buttercup Farm. The farmer had bought a kangaroo and it was arriving that very day. The farmyard animals had never seen a kangaroo before. Have you seen a kangaroo before? What can a kangaroo do? They wondered, but nobody knew. What if she can crow, said Rooster. What if she gets up very early every morning and crows so loudly that she wakes up the whole farm? Perhaps she would even count the hens and chicks to see if any of them are missing. Then the farmer wouldn't need me anymore and I'd have to look for another job. Cock-a-doodle-doo. I might not find one. How dreadful, said everyone. What if she can herd sheep, said Dog. What if she rounds them all up and takes them to graze on the highest and greenest hills? She might even chase a fox or two. The farmer would be so pleased with her that he'd send me to live in the kennels. Woof, woof. I would not like that. How horrible, said everybody. What if she can catch mice, said Cat. What if she catches all the mice in the barn and a few rats too? Maybe even the spiders would be scared to live there. Then the farmer would get rid of me and I would become a stray. Meow, meow. I'd miss my milk and sardines. How awful, said everyone. What if she can give milk, said Cow. What if she fills up all the pails on the farm with such rich, creamy milk that everybody wants to buy it. Then nobody would want mine and the farmer would make me pull the plow instead. Moo, I'd miss my cozy stall. How appalling, said everyone. What if she can grow wool, said Sheep. What if she has a thick, woolly fleece that is whiter than snow and softer than silk? and maybe her coat will grow twice as fast as mine. The farmer would be so delighted, delighted that he'd only use my wool to stuff old pillows and cushions. Bah, I couldn't stand that. How terrible, said everyone. What if she can pull a cart, said horse. What if she can take a cart full of fruit and vegetables to the market faster than I can? She might even give rides to the farmer's two children. Then there would be no place for me and I would end up in an old horse's home. Nay, I'd miss all my friends here. How frightful, said everyone. They were so busy worrying, they didn't notice that some of the young farm animals were missing. Where are my puppies, asked Dog. And my kittens, asked Cat. And my lamb, asked Sheep. All the animals searched and searched, but they could not find a kitten, nor a puppy, nor a tiny lamb anywhere. They looked from the barn to the pigsty with no luck. This is dreadful, crow rooster. Horrible, wolf dog. Awful, meowed Cat. Appalling, mooed Cow. Terrible, bawed Sheep. Frightful, made Horse. Suddenly, across the field, they saw... A very 
very strange animal leaping and bounding towards them. Hello, it said, I'm Kangaroo. The animals couldn't believe their eyes. Kangaroo had a big pouch in her tummy and inside the pouch, two puppies and one tiny lamb. We've had so much fun going on a tour of the farm, said Kangaroo. What if I were to be their babysitter every day? What a good idea, the animals cried. And with crowing, barking, meowing, mooing, bawling, and neighing, they all welcomed Kangaroo to her new home. Did you like that book? I don't know about you, but kangaroos are not usually on farms. That's so silly. <laughs> kangaroos actually live in a place called Australia. Kangaroos can jump really high and really far because of their really strong legs. Kangaroos have a special pouch in their belly where they carry their baby kangaroos. The baby kangaroos are called joeys. Did you know that? Okay, thanks everyone for reading with me and learning about kangaroos. Oh, maybe today you can hop around like a kangaroo. Oh, I had so much fun today. I can't wait to read another story tomorrow. Bye.